Hello and welcome along to another video. Today is Tuesday the 21st of July 2020 and in today's video I'm going to look ahead and preview day number 4, the PDC World Match for 2020. Now day number 4 is the last session to start at 6pm UK time live on Sky Sports. We'll see one match from the last 32 and four matches from the last 16. Now the last 16 kicks up in format to the best of 21 leg format. And again you've got to win by two clear legs to win the match. If the match goes 13 all, it's a sudden death leg to see who wins 14-13. But the first match of the evening sees the last 32 game between Nathan Aspinall and Dimitri Vandenberg. Now Nathan Aspinall made his debut last year in the World Match Play was defeated by Mervyn King in the last 32 by 10 legs to 5. Nathan's backed up a semi-final performance in the World Championships this year with a solid start to 2020. He's going from strength to strength and he's now sitting at number 6 in the World Rankings. He's won Player Championship number 2, Player Championship number 7 and he's also won the Home Tour title. The only blot in Nathan's copybook this year was at the UK Open where he lost the last 64 but he got the toughest of draws against Michael Van Geren and he only lost the match by 10 legs to 8. Now he takes on Dimitri Vandenberg. Now Dimitri's making his debut this year at the World Match Play but Dimitri has reached the quarterfinals of the World Championships before so it just shows you how good Dimitri's stage game is. So far this year his best result has been at the UK Open where he ground his way through to the quarter finals only losing on Sunday afternoon. It's not been this good on the Players Championship. He's reached two last 16s where he reached Players Championship number 5 last 16 and Players Championship number 11 last 16. He had to stay in lockdown at Peter Wright's house but he's learned so much from that in the last few days of the summer series he has kicked on. Although the results don't show it, the performances have been very very good from Dimitri Vandenberg. Now the head to head between these pair, it's 4-0 to Nathan Aspinall and the biggest match of the lot between these pair was at the World Championships earlier on this year in December 2019 when the quarter finals when Nathan won by 5 sets to 3. So what do I think is going to happen in this game? I think that Nathan Aspel have learned a lot from his match play debut last year and I think they'll get the job done against Dimitri Vandenberg by 10 legs to 7. I think Dimitri has a learning game for Dimitri and he's going to learn so much from this game. However, I think it'll be a very interesting game. I think both will average about that 100 mark and I think Nathan Aspel will get the job done by 10 legs to 7. The second match of the evening sees the first game of the last 16 and we see Michael Smith take on Mensor Shulevic. Now Michael Smith reached round 2 by beating Johnny Clayton by 10 legs to 3. He averaged 101, he had 480s and he was 10 from 16 on doubles. Now Michael Smith came off stage and was disappointed with his performance but I thought it was very very good from Michael Smith. I thought it was a lot of positive signs from him and we saw that hunger in his eyes and the determination back in his game. And Mensa reached the second round by beating Jamie Hughes in a classic by 12 legs to 10. Again, he averaged 100. Both players averaged 100 in this game. It was 1080s for Mensa Shulevich and 12 from 27 in doubles. So it wasn't as good as Michael Smith on doubles. So the head to head between these pair, Mensa leads by 10 to 8 and there's been one draw between the pair. But Michael Smith has won the last two meetings between the pair. And the most important was at the Masters this year by 10 legs to 6. So what do I think is going to happen in this game? I think that Michael Smith will make it 3 wins in a row against Mentor Shoyevich. I think the consistency of Michael Smith will be too much for him as the game goes on. Mentor starts the game very strong and then I think he'll fade as the match goes on. And I think Michael Smith will take advantage of this, winning the game by 11 legs to 8. The third game of the evening sees Gary Anderson take on James Wade. Now Gary Anderson reached the second round by beating Justin Pike by 10 legs to 5. It was only a 90 average for Gary Anderson. He had 280s and he was 10 from 28 in doubles. So you want to improve both his scoring and his double percentage in this game against James Wade because you won't beat James doing that. James reached round 2 by beating Keegan Brown in an epic game by 12 legs to 10. He had a 96 average, he had 
180s and he was 12 from 21 on doubles. The doubles were very good from James Wade and he started the match very, very strongly. Keegan showed great determination to get back in it, but when the game the matter, James stepped up that little bit of a gear to win by 12 legs to 10. Now these two have played plenty in the past and Gary leads the head to head with 33 wins to James' 17 and there's been 4 draws. Now they've only played once in 2019 and that was in the Champions League where James won by 10 legs to 9 in the last leg shootout. I think that Gary Anderson will get revenge over that loss and I think he'll win this game by 11 legs to 8. This was one I predicted in my predictions simulations before the tournament started and we stick with my prediction of Gary winning 11 legs to 8. We've seen Gary in the home tour start with a 90 average and then he kicked on his next game. I think he'll do similar here. I think he's found his way into the tournament and I think he'll kick on now. James will be very, very tough to beat because James got that determination back in his game and you've seen at the end how much it meant to him to win against Keegan Brown by 12 legs to 10. But I think he'll just give up a little bit short. I think that Gary Anderson or kick out in that extra gear and average 105 near the end of this game where James will answer about 100 near the end of the game I think about 11 8 to Gary The pull the game of the evening that sees Michael Van Gerwen take on Simon Whitlock Now Michael Van Gerwen had to survive a scare in round 1 when he beat Brendan Dolan by 10 legs to 7 Brendan missed a lot of doubles in that match and if he'd hit them he could have put out the world number 1 but it was a 99 average for Michael Van Gerwen 280s and 10 from 26 on doubles and he takes on Simon Whitlock who beat Ryan Joyce quite comprehensively by 10 legs to 4. Ryan Joyce had a paper cut on his thrown hand and that really affected his performance. It was only an 89 average, 580s and 10 from 29 on the doubles from Simon Whitlock but it was a job done performance. It was so important that Simon Whitlock won that game because of his rankings to keep him in that top 16 of the world and not slip down the rankings any further. So the head-to-head, -head, again, these two have played a lot in the past. It's 34 wins for Michael Van Gerwen, 5 wins for Simon Whitlock and 1 draw. But more importantly, Michael Van Gerwen has won 14 matches in a row against Simon Whitlock. Simon Whitlock's last win against Michael Van Gerwen came in October 2016 and that's four years ago and that's a long long time to be beating one player. You're just getting a losing habit against a player and it'll be interesting to see if Simon Whitlock can overturn that. I don't think he can. I think Michael Van Gerwen will win this match by 11 legs to 6. I think he'll want to make a statement because he didn't make that statement the first time out. I think he wanted to average 107 just like Christoph Rutajski did in round number one, but he didn't do that. I think he'll do that this time. I think he'll average 107 when he beats Simon Whitlock by 11 legs to six. So the last game of the evening sees Gabriel Clemens take on Christoph Rutajski. Now Gabriel Clemens beat the defending champion Rob Cross in round one by 10 legs to eight. It was only an 89 average. He had 480s. But his double percentage was very, very good, with hitting 10 from his 18 attempts at double. And he takes on Christoph Rutajski. Now, Christoph Rutajski is one of the standout performances in the last 32. He beat Jermaine Watamina by 10 likes to 4 with 107 average. He had 6 180s in the match, and he was 10 from 20 on doubles. It was an all-round great performance by the Polish eagle Christoph Rutajski. And if he produces that form, he will be very, very hard to stop. The head to head between these two, it's 6 to 0 to Christoph Rutajski. Christoph has won four meetings in 2019 and two so far in 2020. And I think Christoph Rutajski will continue that run against Gabriel Clemens to make it seven in a row, winning this match by 11 legs to seven. I think it's a very, very interesting game because Christoph Rutajski is getting better and better on the stage and I think we'll see an extra level again and keep that 107 performance going in the next round. So we've seen it once, I think he'll repeat it again in the last 16. Gabriel Clemens, I think he'll up it from his 89 average. I think he'll average about 95 to 97 in this game. But again, that won't be enough to compete with the Polish Eagle and I think he'll run out an 11-7 winner. So let's recap those results very quickly. I think Nathan Aspin will win by 10 legs to 7. Michael Smith will win by 11 legs to 8. Gary Anderson will win by 11 legs to 8. 
Michael Van Gerwen by 11 legs to 6 and Christoph Bratajski by 11 legs to 7. So that's me came to the end of this video. Please leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel and share the content. And until tomorrow I preview the last of the last 16 action in day number 5. I will see you then. Goodbye.